Welcome to the Raw Room. Hey, we in this bitch. Hey, all right, listen, though. We in this bitch with motherfucking Professor Fleet. Oh, yeah. Motherfucking yes, the shift leader. Motherfucking nigga that been in movies. But, no lie, bro. I think this man might be the most versatile uh, comedian slash actor Activist. slash skits writer on Instagram, bro. You be multiple niggas. Yeah, I, I, I did. That's how I started off. I started off like doing different shit. I ain't want to never get tired of that shit. Yeah. yeah. So I was doing different characters all the time. I would have stayed with that Professor Fleet, but I I got so damn, I couldn't fit my uniform no more. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't be up there with the, at the chalkboard. Look right. like, how did you cut? Did? What was your first one? Your first? The first one was the shift leader. It was the shift leader. I saw, yeah. okay, so I just seen you since the ground up there. I seen the nigga. I, I remember I found this nigga on you Instagram. Been Bruh, it that nigga had it. me dying, nigga. Until I died. Like, yeah, what they, the fuck? Did you work at McDonald's or something? Hell nah. Um, <laughs> that shit started, I was like, uh, if you work at like ICDC, I mean, you go to school, ICDC, <laughs> ICDC, 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 ICDC. You'll you, you probably end up being a shift leader. So I did it like that and did that. <laughs> So then somebody was like, yeah, like, they probably take their job so serious. Woo, woo. So, you know, all of us, if you don't work, you don't work with somebody who take their job way too serious. Mm-hmm. So I just, I started acting like, uh, I did have one job. I worked at the Georgia Dome slash Congress Center. Okay. And I worked, uh, it was a man named Mr. Curtis. Mr. Curtis, like, we might do housekeeping, do setup. Yeah, but like yeah. he don't do nothing but like dictate what we do. <laughs> you go in here, pick yeah, that yeah, up there. Yeah. So five like, chairs in the right, tables in the back. So they had the little scrubbers that would come clean the, the dome, but we just have to spot mop where the steps was. Gotcha. So he like every four change of mop water. So you know, we like sometimes we just keep going. <laughs> Man, he might have came and looked at my mop bucket talking about, oh, you done went six. <laughs> Oh, I said, oh, he got eyeball mop water. This ain't for me. Like, he looked and he knew exactly how it's I over went. With. Yeah, he's he like, he's he like, hey, he really trapping it yeah. at mop water, what? bro. Like, hey. He talking about with that attitude, you'll never be permanent. I was like, nigga, that's the goal, bro. And that, exactly. <laughs> like, you trapping. Hey, exactly. So I just saw how serious he took it. And I just was like, well, what Curtis will do if somebody try something like this on the ship? <laughs> Real time, I done made a lot of money off that boy. Like, yeah, yeah. When I see him, I got to yeah, him. Yeah, royalties, man, royalties. That man should have NFT his uh, whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that man should have NFT himself. Well, I, it's like I get in that mode before I do any skit. I'm like, what would Curtis do? What would Curtis do? <laughs> I start amping up. <laughs> I go in there and wild out. That nigga gonna tell you he made you, bro. Yeah. Like, if any nigga be, could go on there and pop shit, like, I made that nigga. He, he, he could say it. He That's could the say. one. That's yeah. the one, bro. So then how you get to Professor Fleet? With the Professor Fleet, like, I'm on, uh, I ain't no, like, I ain't the smartest person in the world, bro. But one thing that used to piss me off, like, when people didn't understand the difference between women and women. <laughs> Like when you know how I be like, she is right. she is strong women, but they talking Bro, about one person. Oh, okay, okay, that's okay, woman. Okay, 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 okay. So you talking about you talking about like the uh, the uh, singular and like the plural? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. He thought I'm okay. thinking between. Yeah. Nah, I think you're talking nah. about like, is that how they say that shit? It's like, but that see, is, you just gotta see what the skit, bro. You gotta so play that shit up. So I have man. women and woman on the board. Yeah. Like, like I just be talking about all that type of stuff. So then after that. People start sending me words like, do want and want, do lost and lost. Yes. So I just start doing them then when they were like, do there, there, and there. I said, hold on. I don't know that shit yet. I said, shit, I got to sit. self educating yeah. along the way. I said, I got to sit down and study that. <laughs> oh, so that's real. There oh. they are. <laughs> so that was like, want and want. Man, look, I, that was 100 pounds ago, man. Well, you can tell yeah, I am that. a jacket, yeah. yeah. Lee. Yes, sir. How long were you there? 2014? Yeah, 2014. I, so that's how long I've been following this nigga, bro. Yeah, 2014, bro. That's so hard. so how did you discover him? Instagram. Just just Instagram, just like scrolling. <laughs> yeah, just what was that did. one skit that was like, yo, this is this is this is the one? Probably for one. The shift leader, I don't know which shift one. Shift leader was the, the one. I got so many shift leaders, bro. The uh, shift leader was the one. You do, shift leader, one shift. of them too. <laughs> Because it was a long time ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was one of the first first couple niggas. Like, I remember seeing him, DC, and shit. 
Your boy Marco. That yeah, Marco. nigga be happy. Bro, how y'all well, niggas team do? up? Man, with, for real, like me and Marco, we were fucking around with the stand-up shit first. Uh, so then... Um, so it started for stand-up for you. Yeah, so like, yeah, I was doing stand-up first. So then, but like we weren't getting plenty of stage time. I take that back. Marco was. Marco mm. was doing stand-up for me. Mm. So I wasn't getting that much stage time. So I, I started fucking with the skit shit. So that one, they were like, Shit, he funny in the skit. Let's see what he do on stage. Oh, okay, so okay. Just, and then it oh, cool back. Someone would put me on stage thinking I wouldn't be funny on stage. Like, yeah. Like, he could do them skits. He ain't funny on yeah, stage. Yeah. yeah. Like giving you that time. Stupid. They're throwing you loud. <laughs> <Dumb ass. laughs> That's your dumb ass. But nah, you that love. skit shit, like, that skit shit, I was fucking with that shit. Like, my whole goal was to, like, you know what I'm saying, fuck around that so I get more bookings with, like, stand-up shit. Mm -hmm. But then, like, bro, it's so many people were fucking with that. Fuck with that shit like when they see you. Yeah. Like they'll treat you like I'm like. <laughs> then when I first started, I was like, nigga, me? <laughs> <laughs> so oh no, well, go ahead, tell me that story then. So you out where? Where you at? The mall? No, you at like, you, you five fast no, food grass and McDonald's? Like no. where was you at? It been like in Atlanta, like like you know what I'm saying, people see me then, you know, yeah. like that would be cool, bro. I went to a Kevin Hart stand up show. Mm. Uh it was at uh at this time it was Phillips Arena. Okay. I'm with my my uh fur baby mama. Me and my fur baby mama. Like, and I had already been telling her like how this shit was going. Like, I knew what it was gonna do. Yeah, I just didn't yeah. know when. Yeah. Right, right. So goddamn, we coming down a little escalator. We finna leave out. The girl said, "Oh my god, that's you." So nigga, I turn around. Who is it? The big guy. Me. I'm ready to pull my phone out and do a little do a little grab up. What the shit talking about? Walk up to me, I look around. That's Yo, real. Like, <laughs> so I had to get myself like, what's going on? <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> so she was like, man, can I take a picture? I was like, hell yeah, let's get it. Yeah, so man. now I'm chilling now. Like, so she's sitting there watching it. So when that shit did, I was like, bro. She liked that, right? Your baby mom liked that time, right? She liked that. Yeah, yeah. She was yeah, cool yeah, about yeah, it and whatnot. Yeah, you let yeah. love that. But it was just like then that was like bro like that one I was like man this shit for me like yeah, I just okay. gotta fi I just gotta figure it out. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's live. It's live. Cause I'm like I'm coming to watch another nigga. Right, right. <laughs> and somebody found and somebody me. See yeah, you. somebody see me and make me feel like it probably don't mean shit to nobody else. But at the time I was like hell yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the battery you need. Yeah, to cause take I was over. just getting up out my seat. I was like boy. I gotta figure this shit out. Cause I want to do this type of shit. Mm -hmm. right. I want to do an arena. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. After that, I was like, yeah. This is this is what we doing. It's yeah. lit, bro. I love that type of story. Right. Shit is Him and this nigga Marco be doing the security. Like, you know how you get in the club, you got some aggressive, yeah. silly ass security. Bruh. Absolutely. And that's how Atlanta security guards be. <laughs> they they do, bro. They do. <laughs> they the worst niggas in the world. Bro. Horrible, bro. They aggressive. They take their job too seriously. Right. And but I mean, I guess it is kind of depend so, on the spot in Atlanta. So that's who you get your inspiration from, right there. Them, you and Marco doing them two type yeah, of security we do. Out from the and then <laughs> all jokes aside, bro, my dad do security. <laughs> so like, my, like how my daddy, bro, my dad talk shit all day. <laughs> like he talk shit all day. All right. So like that how security goes. Like I know, like how they how they be. <laughs> like them niggas, they'll come, bro. You'll come up. You might be a celebrity nigga. You'll see them talking to celebrity niggas any kind of way. Yeah, like yeah, they feel yeah, like, nigga, yeah. we don't have to let you in. Like they don't give a fuck. They don't, bro. <laughs> they oh, don't. Look, all them with me, nigga. I don't, I don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. <laughs> 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 nigga, you on the flyer, nigga. Fuck them. <laughs> Hey, you want to fly? Fuck Yeah, bro. You know what's crazy? That um, I'm not sure if, if you saw that they tried Soldier Boy during verses. Oh, it was I like a, it was like a shit. clip before. It wasn't that one of his deep, his artists. Nah, it was like his whole. He had a crew. It yeah, wasn't just gang, one. Niggas. It was yeah. it, it was a gang. That nigga had a flop. But like <laughs> he had a flop. What it was though, it was a white woman though. I think I want to say it was a white woman that was up front. And she was like, uh, oh, yeah, um, no, you know, basically, no. And the man said, fuck it, y'all do verses by yourself. If they can't get in, I can't get in, period. 
Shut that shit down real quick, bro. The woman said, wait, give me one sec. He was about to leave, bro. So it's one turn. He was about, yeah, and his whole crew. You saw the man crew on stage. He was deep up Everybody there, Everybody got to come in. Everybody got to come in. You got to throw it like that. You got to do the verse you, like you that. You got to be like, bro, I done seen like celebrities. Oh, yeah, these niggas that did that shit too. Oh, yeah, with the verse. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, if you be with a celebrity, <laughs> once that celebrity get in. Yeah. Nigga, you might be out for the rest of the night. Like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. the security guard, they treat you any kind of way once the celebrity <laughs> like, in. like, I'm with them. Hey, 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 man, get your ass back. <laughs> Those niggas really be wildin', man. Man. That nigga, niggas one time, like, patted the nigga down, like, nigga got a suit on, like, he just got out of work or something. Then let, like, a little 10-year-old nigga just walk straight through the door. <laughs> Yeah, it just be like some little <laughs> random shit. Somebody, what's up, little nigga? You know that? All right, then go ahead, then. But like, <laughs> and you be watching them shit, bro. Sometimes, like, we be genuinely laughing because, like, we don't ever, like, know. It's our improv. Yeah, it be yeah. improv yeah. what we gonna say or something like that. We just bounce and feed off each other. Yeah. So, like, because sometimes, shit, nigga, it might be people walking on the street, like, hey, you'll come get in this skit right quick. And they'll walk over there. Yeah. They don't even know what we about to do. <laughs> Hey, that's great, man. So we might, we be, we we really be putting ourselves in harm's way. You definitely you, do, you nigga. You say the wrong shit to a nigga, like, hey, man, what the fuck you talking about? Better than risk it all. But you know, niggas, niggas in Atlanta be ready to pop off any kind of way yeah, they can, yeah. so they be like, yeah, man, yeah. This is probably my, yeah. this is probably my shot, you know what I'm saying? Nah, the nigga, uh, he was like, oh, I see what y'all doing, I, I DJ. Okay. But we look, the nigga like 55, 60 years old, so we like... <laughs> All right. What are you spinning, bro? Yeah, so he, he like, shit, uh, so I work with y'all, y'all work with me, we could make this shit build up. Like, hey, man, it was one skit, we, we just didn't have nobody. <laughs> we just did. Hey, yeah, he tried he to make him a contract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga tried to put me in a 360 deal. That quick. Like, nigga. I want it all. All this is about. <laughs> yeah. Like, nigga. Let me produce you. So I had to book you, nigga. I ain't know. I you you were walking to the bus stop, nigga. <laughs> we offered the nigga snacks and all. Like, I'm like, nigga, you done turned this shit like. Is this like, You like, walk to the like, bus yeah, stop? Like, y'all need help. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Like, damn. Bro, hey, listen. That's the grind, yeah. though. But speaking of the skit, though, y'all niggas in that unsung. Oh hell yeah! That's, you ain't seen the unsung man. That nigga do like <laughs> what you did like juke. Nah, who was that? Damn, he did a group. We did. Uh, oh fuck. We did hot boys. We did. That was the hot boy. Yeah, yeah we, we did. Was it like uh, like VH1 unsung? Yeah, like back like in the how, day. How TV one do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. We do it like that too. But we on some shit like oh that was the hot boys one right now. Hey, that nigga made me die, bro. I had played, uh, I think on that one played Man- <laughs> Manny Fresh. And then it'd be like on one, uh, we did Big Boy and Andre 3000. We talked yeah, about that. Yeah. But it'd be like, bro, on some real shit, I got to get, like, the camera girl who do our stuff, her name, Tori. Yeah. Bro, like, she just, she'll make that shit so, like, like, make it seem, like, so real. Like, you really watching Unsung. Awesome, yeah. Like, have somebody talking. We have Vegas. He talking on the background. That shit always just come out so crisp and clear. Like some, that would be the thing. Bit about, about those kids, bro. It'd be like the editing. Yeah. Some yeah. people like like on on some people could just do like little stuff on their camera uh-huh. and they shit a go. Like yeah. I gotta tight. I had to sit down. I be wanting my shit to hit certain ways, and yeah, sometimes folks don't catch it, but it be like I be wanting it to be a certain way though. Yeah. But that's how it's supposed to be though, because you want that. You want that joint to be perfect. You yeah, want it to yeah. be a masterpiece to, to your liking, too. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, fuck with somebody else. Gonna say. Eventually, somebody else going to like it. That's going to blow that bitch up. You when you saying? start doing... So, like, when like when like you say, all right, you know, I'm about to start doing these skits. When was it? Or what click was it? All right, you know what? I want to I wanna actually edit edit mine. I want to take this crap seriously and, like, actually make it movie style. Make it TV one style. Not just do shit on the iPhone and put it out on IG, whatever the case may be. I can't even lie to you. Like, it, it never was me because, like... Um, okay. When we first had started, uh, when we first started doing the skits, we had all of us were signed to uh, Archive, uh, DC, mm-hmm. Moneybag, me, Marco, uh, Erica Duchess. Mm-hmm. They had, oh, E-Man and Philip Hudson. So it was a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. signed. So we would, like, shoot skits. Now, the, the person that I did see do it the easiest, the boy Fly. Because mm-hmm. hey, Fly didn't have to do, he just get his phone and he roast a picture. Yeah. He take off, but that was his style. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So yeah. we had to figure out like what what works for the rest of us. You know okay. what I'm saying? So 
when we start doing a certain type of ways, like money bag, he could do a skit. Like he could be riding the car, make something funny, like easily like that. But once I saw how I do with those characters, I just started coming up with like, okay, if I do it like this, this could be like an example of a TV show. They could develop mm-hmm. this type shit. Mm-hmm. So I started thinking like that. Long term. Yeah, like you think long, long term. Yeah, Facts. And, and that's how it just was like even making a series or anything like that. So that's how I was trying to think with that shit. But mm-hmm. man, that shit like give or take because I had Slick got tired of the shift leader shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I was yeah, like, bro, yeah. I was like, I done did this shit so much, I ain't fucking with that shit. Then when I go places, bro, it's so many folk come up. Boy, we, they might not even know my name, dog. They be like, shift leader. Yeah. They, I was like, yeah. They were like, bro, you ain't put a shift leader up in the middle. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to let. Man, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> you know how niggas talk to. Hey, man, hey, keep hey, that hey, shit hey, coming, hey, man. Hey, that yeah. shit hot, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring that shit back. And then, you know, hood niggas, like, bro, like. <laughs> Hood niggas, they'll watch your shit. They might not even put no laughing emojis. They yeah. just send it to people. Yeah, that is he true. showed that me, he was true. like, bro, I, I see, man, I see your time. shit all the time, bro. I'm like, you ain't like man, what? Yeah. Like, bro, I laugh so hard, I just send that shit out. Yeah. Hey, nah, that's, that's real, real, real. That's real. Like, that's honestly, real. I be like, I be doing the same thing. Yeah, like, I be like, yo, this, I, I gotta show somebody this yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just, I gotta yeah. show somebody this shit. You know what I mean? Like, that, that word of mouth be, you know what I'm saying? How you blowing up? But I do know, like, like damn, bro, you could at least go ahead. That would tap it real quick. Now, sometimes, <laughs> real, you know, like, like, what time? One time. <laughs> when we be looking at the shit, we be looking at the number, like, oh, the numbers going out. They probably ain't fucking with that shit. Yeah. And so I stopped for a minute when I dropped it. I took a minute, then I came back with another. Everybody, why well, we missed it, and then we missed it. Where, where you been? Where you been? Like, yeah. they talking yeah. about a different nigga. Like, <laughs> <it ain't different. laughs> Posting other shit. Hey, talking about where he been. I'm like, I'm right here. That nigga, I told you this nigga so first time. Nigga think he other people. We the same person. That shit crazy. But, That's a gift and a curse for your ass. Yeah, for <laughs> like, wait a minute. So when, so in third grade, when you did that play and you were Screws, is that what make you want to become an actor? Like, nah, or be? Nah, my god, be damn. more. Hold on, you was Scrooge? Yeah, yeah I was Scrooge. Like, like the uh, cr- Christmas Carol joint? Yeah, yeah. It, okay. was a, it was a school play, goddamn uh, musical play. That, you know, they switched it up, changed it a little bit. Yeah. I had got the role of Scrooge. Like, you couldn't tell me shit. Like, nigga. Yeah. Because we did, we did the play three times. We did the play. <laughs> Them folks Look. had three sold out yeah. shows, third grade. <laughs> did what I'm saying now. First through third graders, we did the play for them. Fourth and fifth graders. And then that night, we did it at the PTA for the parents. <laughs> Bet. Bet. Hey, I'm talking about I got Fly. a standing ovation at the, at the PTA. <laughs> I ain't looked back since. I knew where the fuck I was headed. I was like, shit. Hey, this is my shit right here, <laughs> that bro. What I, that's what I was put to do. That's what's up. That's what's up. So when bro. did you like want to become an actor? Because you were in plenty of movies. Digital Lives Matter. Uh, obviously, Coming to America too. Whatever for you. And, and they, had cut, they had cut out a lot of shit of the Coming to America too. But then, like... After afterwards, at first I was sick because I know like what we had did and stuff. I was like, damn. So when I watched the movie, I was telling Rodney Perry, I was like, man, I don't like that shit. Yeah. He was like, no, nah, but then he was like, some people they cut completely out. So you gotta look at it like that. Mm. But the only thing I really, I really love that acting shit. Cause it make you wanna work like stand up and skits, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got the niche. I know what's funny to me and what might be funny to people that like the shit I do. Mm-hmm. With that acting shit, it make you want to work like, because I'm always looking like, was that straight? Did I do all right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. With the stand-up, like I, I kind of yeah. got my groove. Like I know, mm-hmm. if you don't fuck with what I do, you don't fuck with what I do. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's going to be me. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With that acting, you got to take, that's a craft. Yeah. That you got to take serious in the stand-up shit. Once mm-hmm. you find yourself on stage, you can find yourself on act- in acting and still not be right for another role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you might de- be a different type of yeah. actor. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real. That acting shit, bro. I don't, like, I had got to a point where I was like, man, fuck that acting shit. Because, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you might audition. Yeah. <laughs> you pay a nigga to tape you. You got damn run and got damn read your damn lines, do all that shit. You go do the audition. They don't tell you, uh, yeah, that was okay. They don't give you no feedback. They be like, thank, thank you. Thank you. And that's it. Damn, for <laughs> so, real. So, like, with stand-up, you on stage, 
You hear people laughing. You you know you get, the, you get yeah. the feedback Immediate, right then. Immediately, yeah. yeah. Man, that acting shit, like, you might feel like you killed the uh, audition. They don't call you back. You just see motherfuckers shooting the movie, like... Damn. Oh, damn. God, you can get me like that email back how you doing a job. You know, bro, on that How High 2, I auditioned for three different roles. On the same movie? The same movie. Same movie. Yeah. Three different roles. Mm. So when the movie, uh, the first time I seen them, like, you know, putting up pictures of, like, people shooting, so I was like, they already done canceled this motherfucker? Damn. So I was like, they shooting. I was like, man, this some bullshit. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. So then when the um I had did a couple more auditions. But then when Coming to America 2 came around, I had auditioned for uh, the first role, which ended up going to Tracy Morgan, but I ain't know at the time. Mm-hmm. Cause they had it um labeled as the quest. That was the uh name of the movie, but they went, you know, they ain't want to oh, tell yeah. people. They wouldn't say that this yeah. is coming uh, to America. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. when that I did sense. it and then get it, uh when I didn't get it, I was like Shit, I went tripping. So then when it came around, they were like, okay, y'all, uh, we want you to audition for uh, Coming to America too." So, like, now I'm on some shit. Like, I said, I already know audition for it. Like, I was on some shit. Like, man, yeah. y'all don't want me in the motherfucker. Yeah. I already know audition for it. So they're like, no, nah, this is another role. So I was like, all right. Bro, when I tell you, I get to the um, casting director off George Pierre. When I tell you, any nigga who was a comedian... In that bitch. Was in that what motherfucker. Was in that bitch. So I go in that motherfucker. Like, ah, bro, damn. what the fuck is this, dog? <laughs> like I left from what I at the time. I'm, I'm, I'm gambling on the man. I, I was hot that day. I'm like, bro, I could have stayed doing the fuck I was doing. Man. Get buddy. <laughs> Get buddy. <laughs> so look, but as I sit there, I'm looking around. I think. Uh, well, I know for sure. A uh, few comedians in there. I know the boy Desi was in there. Uh, I remember Lav Love. I remember a few more niggas. But I'm looking around. I'm like, bro, all these niggas got a certain type of body type. Like, these niggas in shape. I said, they looking for a fat, short nigga. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. Because I'm, I'm looking guy. around. I'm like, yeah. no, ain't nobody else this size. Yeah. I'm, good. I'm good. Man, I look up. This nigga Rodney Perry walk in. I was like, nah, this nigga shorter and fatter than me. <laughs> I said, I, I that's said, my cup right there. Yeah, I said, that's my competition. <laughs> so they called me in, and then Rodney came in after me. So on my audition, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Out of all my auditions, bro, that probably was the. It, it was okay. It was decent. It went nothing spectacular. Like I added on a line or two, like I did me, but it went nothing like. God damn, we need him. Like, I ain't think they'll think that. Mm. Bro, I'm for, um, the, the lady called me from the agency. She was like, uh, do you got something between these days? I was like, I don't know. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, always what? what's up? Yeah, hey, yeah, what's up? Yeah. So she like, um, this doesn't mean you have the part, but they just trying to make sure these dates are open. I was like, well, shit, if I do got it's something, really I ain't got nothing. Yeah, <laughs> so let them know I'm good. Oh, yeah. So then... She was like, nah, this doesn't mean you have it. They still, they just trying to see who they can. I was like, all right. So I hang up. So I called her like four days later. I was like, they still ain't saying that? She was like, nah, uh, but they haven't picked nobody yet. So that's good news. I was like, all right. She called me Man, probably. Yeah, 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 so she yeah, called yeah, me yeah, by. Because I'm like, at the time, I'm like, this is what I need. Yeah, Like, this will yeah. get me back in the game if yeah. I get this shit. So then four days later, she was like, now. I was like, what's going on? She was like. You got the role. So I just got quiet. She was like, are you happy? I was like, yeah. I, I, shit, I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> but that shit just ain't falling down. I was just, but it was just something that, uh, you know what I'm saying, yeah. needed. Because I'm like, bro, at the time, we don't like, we don't look at it as being like, you know, like you sit around and look at But you just need some of that shit for like, you know, validation. Like, yeah. you doing all the auditions, you doing all that. Like, just some kind of credit under my belt mm-hmm. at the time. Because I... Can I be feeling you actually put yeah, in? Yeah, because, like, yeah, bro, yeah, I give out a lot of free content. Like, you know what I mean? Trip like that. Yes. But so then when, like, you get something like that, oh, shit, I load them up with skits. Yes, I know uh, I got yeah. this coming. But yeah. then when the movie dropped, the first time, I was happy all on set, though, because it's like, 
Bro, I'm working with nothing but stars and yeah, celebrities. I was gonna ask you about that, like, I mean, cause I know that you write a lot of shit. So I mean, you in there with like, you know, nigga, A-list celebrities. Yeah, A-list celebrities yeah. that like nigga, write a lot of shit. Know, it's, it's A-list and then me. Like, <laughs> nigga, bro, this is how bad I know it was. It was only but God, bro. Yeah. The, I had to do a working resume to be on the movie, like. So when the lady called, she was like, some, some, we need a working resume from you because I went in SAG and all that other shit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, me being so goddamn pessimistic, I'm like, so that mean I ain't going to be able to do it? <laughs> she was like, no, 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 you good, you good. I was like, all right, I'm finna send it to you right now. I'm like, I ain't work but one job. That was a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my bad. I, I, I missed that. They wanted they like got- a resume, like a they just like, yo, you got. job like, history. Basically, they hire you. Okay. So it's like I went classified as an actor. Oh, I ain't have, I, I have okay. enough shit under my sense. belt. Like so, like they had to like. So still like you had on there, you know, shift leader from back in the day when you was with uh, Mister Curtis. Yeah, Mister Curtis. Now I don't even think I put that shit. <laughs> you didn't, you I left that shit blank. Like I never worked. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I ain't even want them to call Mr. This Curtis. Hey, Mr. They like, call Mr. Hey, oh, hell no. Hey, it's over with. Hey, it's that man had six bucks in my wallet. I told him I ain't the film. I told, film. Him, I told him four. Every four. <laughs> I told Every him four. Every four. I told him, four. Four. I told him, four. I told him four. He God went six. You don't want that type of shit on the set. on your shit. He say he gone, bro. bro. Damn, Mr. Curtis, bro, you Mr. gonna Curtis. hate on him like that. So I been there, bro. Yeah. We seeing Arsenio, we yeah, seeing yeah. Leslie Legends. Jones, yeah, like uh, Tracy Morgan, all them just, mm-hmm. all, just legends, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. When Eddie Murphy walked in, everybody got like starstruck, like it oh, just yeah. looked. I'm Mr. Gold. Like, bro, yeah. like, yeah. And the like, nigga yeah, came day, in, nigga. yeah, he came yeah. in so cool and. That nigga was talking about Star Wars and Planet of the Apes type shit. Just Damn. like, he just a cool ass nigga. So when we were like, we were shooting, like we'll just add some stuff in. Like the director, he'd be like, um, he might say something. He'd be like, no, let them go. Like, let them go. Like when we was like doing on some family, like doing the family shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, uh-huh. he like he was he on some shit. Like, let, let, let them rock out. Yeah. yeah. He started adding stuff that we could do. All the shit got cut, but he let us yeah. he let us do yeah. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So that one was like, oh man, you couldn't tell me shit about Ed. I'm going, man, Ed a real nigga, man. Yeah. Like we, he, yeah. Who you on Ed now? It's the Los has been going on for the longest. Oh man. <laughs> about you. I put him on, bro. Hey. I was trying to figure what the fuck Lowe wanted you to do, bro. I'd be like, hey, yo, Eddie, uh, you know what I'm saying? I got a homeboy back. You know what I'm saying? At the crib. Hey. And then they call those Miller. What the fuck? Yeah, what real nigga? quick. Nigga. Hey, real quick. He, he gonna hit ground, bro. <laughs> he gonna hit ground, bro. Man. Pull up. <laughs> you can't tell that nigga Los that I wasn't supposed to do that. Like, that's, that's, cause look, so when we had first did the episode and he brought it up. Yeah. I said, hey, man, these folk going crazy on the nigga talking I about, hey, I, I, I said, they said, you done put me in positions, I ain't looking, looking out for you. <laughs> He was like, they saying Man. that on well. I was like on Twitter. He was like, good. And hung up. <laughs> <laughs> bro. That was not playing, bro. Bro. He was not playing. <laughs> bro, I, I, when that nigga came back on the show, like the second time after he was saying, my bro, you got people talking crazy. <laughs> Niggas just kept it going. <laughs> who was that? Who was that? Who? Uh, we was on there with T-Pain. T-Pain. With T-Pain. 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 That's what was. T-Pain. 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 Yeah, bro. T-Pain. <laughs> That was that was a funny ass fucking episode. Oh yeah, man. T Pain, T Pain, cool as a motherfucker, man. Yeah. Like just being around and seeing like people, like you know what I'm saying. And mm. then like a certain stuff, stories he would tell them. I'm like, damn, T Pain. Yeah. yeah. Like you, you, you know how you have a vision of a nigga, yeah. how you think they're yeah, not be. the way he. The man, he was just cool, laid back, I got just question. chilling. Uh, so did y'all hear So you know They might came out With that Netflix doc Doc This is pop On Netflix T-Pain was like On episode 2 The whole auto tune thing uh-huh. That was like The whole Usher story Y'all got the Usher story First didn't it Was that how that worked When nah, he was on, he, on, the, on, on yeah. the plane Well he was telling us About He, he told He never told us That Usher nah. hated on him Yeah Okay 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 And see okay. we didn't know that So yeah. when he said that I was like damn Yeah he was like, That's like Yeah, he, yeah. I yeah, wish yeah. he would've told But I'm kinda glad Cause I know how I talk yeah. I probably said, man, that's a fuck ass nigga. <laughs> like he just would have came off so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, just like, clean. like bro, how 
you roll tell down your tongue. How you tell a nigga he fuck music? I'm like, man, that's a hating ass uh, fuck that. <laughs> and, and knowing how they do, they would have just cut that <laughs> clip and put it on yep. 85 South. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what yeah. yeah. they do. Facts, facts. Yeah, absolutely. That's real. That's real though. That's nah, real. that's definitely real. But how, I know that's been, that, they help you going being on that show, being on 85, they hey, help you blow bro, up a little so, bit or get you, oh, hey, I mean, yeah. I know for sure, because these yeah. niggas got a, a fucking following. Man, 85 South, like, that, bro, on some real shit, that's why I fuck with them boys so heavy, because it's like, they, they want to see a nigga win. Mm. And, yeah. and it be shit I can't do in return. Like, bro, the, when I first started fucking with them, I didn't know. I didn't know what a fucking podcast was. So was it? So you was? So did <laughs> nah, you meet nah, all was, them niggas like at the same time, or did you know like the damn near other than Chico? Everybody from the A or yeah. live in the A. Well, um, I knew Lowe's from like stand up, but I'm talking about like behind the scenes of the 85 South. And me and Fly, like you know, we were doing skits and under the same management, yeah. mm-hmm. and then just come around, but. Like the behind the scenes guy, like you know the Chad, Joe, mm-hmm. Cat, right, right, Ryan, right, right. them niggas so real, them niggas so one hundred. But like with Los, bro, my two favorite comedians are like that I be around, like a Carlos Miller and mm-hmm. uh, K Dub. Okay. okay. So when they were like, "Oh, uh, <laughs> come do the podcast," Los, I'm like, "Bet." Like yeah, I yeah. fuck with Los, like yeah, mm-hmm. that's all it is. Like you know what I'm saying? Trip. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what a podcast was, so the first time I do the podcast. They were like, oh, they going crazy. They they fucking with you. They fucking with you. Yeah. I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Bet, yeah right. Cool. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> that is. So they started showing me how to shit in the YouTube. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. Really, like, bring him back. Bring him back. Yeah. So then did a few more. So I'm like, oh, yeah. This, this shit straight. So sometimes, like, um, when I had did the all deaf, I was supposed to do the all deaf when they were doing the uh, taping, like when they had came back doing stand up. Okay. So they were doing stand up, uh, putting it on HBO type shit. Mm-hmm. So, but it's certain people they they were like, we not gonna fly out a lot of people. We are gonna kind of keep it based in LA. Yeah. So they ain't get me. Yeah. Okay. And I had killed the shit. Yeah. So then I was like, bro, I could be mad at that shit, but like. That don't that many people watch that as they watching the eighty five South. South. That's true. So I went on Twitter like, cause sometimes I really have to stop myself from saying and doing little shit. <laughs> but then one time I wanted to pop some shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I was mad about that all deaf bullshit. Like I said, yeah. like, how I'm looking at eighty five South, the real TV credit, yeah, and that yeah, was real facts. shit. It is. Hey, that is. It is. Though. And that's how yeah. I was like, bro, like I, the certain stuff we be looking at it like. Damn, we ain't get it, we ain't get that. Bro, like, God be having plans for you, and you you really be ignoring the blessing that you got. Yes. 85 Bro, South say be- it for the people in the back, bro. Real talk, man, because, like, I mean, you talk about that all the time, man. Like, people need, people always looking for validation from right. some, someplace some, else. Somebody else. When well, there's somebody right, right there, there on your team. You. Fucking with you. Right. Yeah, fucking with you. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. And when you looking for some up light, man. Yeah. And it's real. It's solid. solid. It's, it's you know solid, too. It ain't no bullshit. It's not. It ain't because they want something in return. Yeah, it's because they fuck with you. Folk. It's family stuff. Like, yeah. real talk. And that's real talk. And, that, and that's how it be, like, when they when we first, when they first had to start going on their tour, mm-hmm. they were like, uh, you come, you want to... Like, Lowe's the first person who, like, said something about Because, like, he was talking about it. He was like, man, the shows be sold out. He was like, we getting this, we getting that. Like, mm-hmm. he was like, bro, there's so much money over here. I don't think he just, you know, like, you know, me, I'm happy for a you nigga. He's just, just talking. Yeah, just talking, talking yeah. like, hell yeah, yeah, bro, get that shit. That, yeah. that was like, I want to see a nigga win. If I fuck with you, I want to see you yeah, win. Period. So, he just see how I'm acting. So, he was like, nigga, I'm saying that. I'm like, you can come get you some money, yeah, too. Yeah, like, you yeah. can... I was like, oh hell yeah! Let's do this then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he was it. like, hey, so I started doing that. Then goddamn COVID hit. Yes, sir. And I was so mad because we had it was fifty dates, bro. We probably did five. I had Damn. already multiplied my money mm. with them other forty five dates. Mm. I was like, God. Damn. Yeah, man. Oh man, well, they, they I had to stay with my baby mama some more. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's real though. <laughs> we had to make quality that, time. We had to make that shit work. <laughs> yeah, make that work. Quality yeah, time. I was gone. I was good and gone. <laughs> <laughs> Forty five times what I was supposed to get. But <laughs> you got one time. <laughs> you got one time to fuck up around these motherfuckers. <laughs> Who the fuck washed the dish? <laughs> I'm going to come back and get that plate. 
I'm sorry. No, fuck it. I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm and you better be gone when I get back. You, you better be gone. Yeah. Yeah. Get back. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, man. Were they the first niggas that started like live podcasts? I can't say that. I mean, I don't know if they were the first, but they probably they were up there. the first successful one. I think yeah. they were the first to goddamn do how they do the arenas and Arena. shit. Yeah, 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 crazy, yeah. Bro. Arena shit for sure. I'm curious to see what this shit gonna look like because you know I'm going to that David Chappelle, Joe Rogan thing. Oh, that shit here. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. come here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's I, 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 I that's at Zanies. No, that's at Bridgestone. Oh, I'm saying. He, got, he gotta go big. I thought they were gonna you know, do it like this one of Dave's small shit. Yeah, they be doing that intimate shit. Yeah, he do. He do. He packed pack the building in there, yeah, bro. People will be out lined up on Eighth Street. Oh man, just yeah. like like I, I ain't got to go in. I just want to get a glimpse of. Just want to see that nigga <laughs> yeah, walk in. See the back walk in, bro. Have you, been, have you met that nigga Dave Chappelle? Not that, uh, no, nah, I don't went to a couple of his shows. Like a lot of people yeah. uh, be around him and stuff. This be like my, my uh, first one for. I'm excited, motherfucker. I ain't what? never seen him live. Never see Dave Chappelle, like, bro. I ain't gonna lie. lie. Like how what? how it is like going to a show. You get that ticket. How it is going to the show, like you go to a day's prayer show, yeah. they give you something to you put your phone, phone in, yeah. you gotta get yeah. your phone yeah. in. So it like you really sit there and enjoy it. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. You unplug. That's, you you yeah. that shit is alive though. But mm -hmm. I still like when I get oh, it's still in my phone. I, I snuck my phone in. You know, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like on some shit. Like, <laughs> Fuck that. But how these ticket was, boy, I'm getting somebody <laughs> know I went in this motherfucker. <laughs> that the type of nigga I'm in. Like, hey dog, y'all just gonna have to confiscate this motherfucker. <laughs> I get that bit back. Yeah. I got a well, 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 I'm from niggas ain't doing what I do, so they like <laughs> they like to see me pop shit. So I gotta sometimes just if if you see a little glimpse of the nigga, oh yeah, my dog with that. He was in that joint, bro. Blow it up, blow it that's up, it, blow it up. I see it. That's what's up. I got cousins like you know what I'm saying. Like my my uh family, like they originally like from the country. Like America's Georgia, all been to Georgia. Y'all probably don't even know them nah, city. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you see yeah, America, Georgia? America's. Oh, nah, I never heard of that. All been to Georgia? All been there. Yeah, so Auburn. like, they from down there. Yeah, so yeah, like, Lord, no. like, we knowing like, shit, the shit, some shit I be around and be around, people I be around, mm -hmm. they're like, shit, this shit never would have happened. Yeah. Like, well, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Though. So yeah. it be like, sometimes... I don't be popping shit cause I wanna pop shit. I pop shit so for them. They can, yeah. 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 So they, they can see. You. Yeah. So they can see. I, all that shit y'all put me through growing up, nigga. Yeah. I made it. Yeah, I made this bitch. <laughs> y'all nigga. Go. Look, cause growing see up. Me. <laughs> them, growing up, all my cousins were more advanced than me. Them niggas was supposed to make it. Mm-hmm. I had a cousin who was fire hell on the drum, bro. Mm -hmm. They supposed to be the next nigga. Man, up. used to play drums at church mm -hmm. with that nigga. Mm -hmm. Nigga ain't got a drum set. God damn. <laughs> damn. I do this shit for him. That shit yeah. the type of shit you Man. gotta do it for, bro. I'm gonna say he ain't got a drum set to this day. That's go the type of shit you gotta do. Huh? Go, go get him a drum set, man. <laughs> that uh, shit ain't cheap. He crossed me. Oh. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nah, I'm just talking Family. shit. Hey, drum set cost some money, don't it? By what? Man, bro, it depends on a drum set, bro. You know, man, you ain't gonna get no cheap ass drums. Hell no, nah, no. Nah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm getting him. A, I wonder if he still can play the drum though. Yeah, sure you know how nigga. Yeah, that mic. was that was some shit. Like when a nigga growing up, like they were doing had talents and shit. I yeah, really yeah. didn't have no damn talent, but like being funny yeah. type shit. So it like mm -hmm. they could show off they shit around the family. I couldn't go tell my jokes and shit. At, at that age, nigga, I was cussing. I was cussing good as a motherfucker. Everybody knew how to do that shit. Yeah. So, like, all my cousins knew I was funny, but I couldn't go show my aunties how funny I was. Like, hey, man. Hey, that's a good question. When, you, when did you learn how to cuss? Like, good? Good. I probably about like seven grade, six, seven grade. So you was like, well, you think? Man, shit, I was in third. Third grade. You, 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 you already knew what was going on. Bro, my... Bro, my, my dad whole side of the family cuss good as a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> nigga. Why is there a scale, bro? Oh, you cuss hey, real good. Because Some niggas just, slow at cussing, though. Yeah, that is true. Is. Bro, <laughs> my granddaddy house, like, all he would do is watch, like, westerns. You yeah. know, as a kid, that shit boring as fuck. That shit, but my yeah. granddad do the same bro, thing, bro. But I, you, can, you can ask all my cousins. I would love to go around that because I know 
he was gonna be cussing all day, <laughs> and I was gonna imitate him that night. Like I just knew, he, he, man, that nigga cuss like a he cuss like bro. We had a girl cuss at the time. I thought she was five. Yeah, she laughed at something he did. He's like what the fuck? So goddamn, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> bro. It just it's so simple how he cuss, but he have emotion and be looking. <laughs> That it's, nigga, a, it's a hobo. And smoke his cigarette, dump it, and get back to watching it West. <laughs> Man, what I remember one time so my cousin. Goddamn funny. My cousin turned the damn TV. Ooh, oh, we man. Shit. Shit. He, a, he never whooped none of us. But that nigga cussing. <laughs> yeah. That did. He it. verbally yeah. beat y'all. Man, ass. my. He, he, he was verbally man. abusive. <laughs> That's real. That's real. He, oh. cussed, he cussed me out one time because, like, he was uh, go cut grass, so me and my cousin would, like, work for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, bro, we'll cut the whole yard. I don't know how much he would get, but we'll <laughs> cut yard. At the end of the day, that nigga get, what, $10 a piece? <laughs> Now at the time, I'm like, bro, ain't no goddamn way. <laughs> <laughs> this shit add up. <laughs> so look, I told my cousin, bro, like, I ain't doing this shit no more. Like, I quit. So he was like, you just a fat, sorry motherfucker. Yeah. So that's how my brother, so my cousin kept working. And then got the same ten dollars. So I don't quit. He doing all the work and still got ten dollars. Damn. It took he get a whole twenty. He hey. took it took his slow ass six more months like, to realize like, Hello, like granddad bro. fucking me over. <laughs> I'll be early, bro. Oh, shit, boy. That shit too funny. I can't. I don't know when I started cussing for it. It was probably around like eighth, eighth grade. It was probably when I ended up going to a public school. You know, I was in private school for a minute. Yeah, see, oh, yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah, I was in private, I'm in public school the whole yes, way through man. until high school, middle, some part of middle school. That's how I went. I was around white boys, too, and that, that was cussing. But that cussing was... They cussed cuss cuss different. They cussed cuss cuss way different. different. Way different. White people love the F word. They love yeah, I like fuck. the F word, too. Yeah, but they, like the way they say it, they say it differently. Oh, yeah, yeah, but they... That's... Fuck! You don't know they happy or mad. Hey, real. Fuck yeah. You fucking did it. You fucking did it. You fucking right. Bro, a white person, the first person I heard, he was like, man, uh, he was like, I got to poop. I was like, what? <laughs> like, bro. You said, you said he got to poop. Poop. Like, poop. Yeah, poop. Like, oh, shit. You bro, mean, I, I, I when got I was shit. growing up, we were already, hey, I got a shit. <laughs> I said, like, bro, what the fuck is a poop? <laughs> Oh, bro, nigga, I've been so shitting poop. since fourth grade. <laughs> like, I ain't like I ain't know hey, all that poop. number two and all hey, that man. I this, was shit. This nigga so we great. we are definitely nah, number number two. This nigga is so green, bro. What's said, up? He say in school. This nigga used to do his work real fast, right? Yeah. And then have everybody laughing, homeboy laughing. And the teacher told the whole told all that pot and them like, hey, your boy be doing his work. They look at that like, damn, nigga, you be doing your work, but you got. Got us over here cracking up. So he was that nigga in school. Man, them niggas were looking Damn. at me like all lame. So, yeah. <laughs> so you was doing your work, having them laughing, distract the fuck out of them. Yeah, bro. Distract the hell out of them. Bro, no, bro, when they I didn't realize that, my partner was so slow, though. Like, <laughs> like bro, it was a multiplication, bro. I just go through the shit. This shit yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking shit. I'm thinking they finished too, shit. <laughs> It's your uh, fault. Uh, <laughs> like, damn. Dang, you got stuck on some time, Sam? <laughs> you on the Sam, bro? You better on the Sam, bro. Hey, yeah. niggas ever mistake you for academics? Hell yeah. <laughs> bro, real talk. Bro, Bates, you a fool, bro. No. Nah. I'm done. I, ain't, I ain't even peep that. When we say it, I can't unsee it. Oh. It's there now. <laughs> Nigga, I didn't even know how academics looked till they did the Migos thing. So we had did the reenactment. So uh oh, for, okay. Uh, okay. So, so we did the reenactment. So I uh the nigga academics had reposted the shit. So I'm going through that pound like oh, damn. <laughs> I slick do look like home. <laughs> Bruh, look, they had me do that in the Migos video play. That nigga Joe Bunn. <laughs> so, bruh, like, some certain shit like that. <laughs> you did kill the patient. Person, you did bro. kill it, you So, it'd be like, certain shit like that, I'd be like mad at certain shit. Like, but then it was like, boy, 
Who else could have did it? Like, <laughs> I'm looking around like shit. Yeah, man, I guess this is my role. This, <laughs> man, look, this is my role right yeah, here. This shit too funny, bro. That was funny. Man, and then they be tagging me at home shit. Like, I thought that was academic. I'm like, man, come on. <laughs> nigga hit me oh, with the goodness. nigga hit me with the academic. They hit me with the black youngster. Bro, you killed that video. And they, this kid. and they hit me with the Moesha brother, Miles. Miles. <laughs> yeah, they hit me with that shit. <laughs> that 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 nigga Marco, that's it. Like, what 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 uh what uh Moesha saying was it? I gotta know this one. Huh? What yeah, uh, what yeah. uh what uh what saying what it, it wasn't a saying? No. No, nah, like it was the exact thing y'all was doing. Nah, uh they no, I ain't do no nah, scene. They just, they just like saying him. they were saying I look like you. Look but like you said Marco yeah. what? Like, say for instance, we get around like a new group. Like me and yeah. Marco, we really don't roast each other, but sometimes, you know, we gotta roast each other or whatnot. That's it, go to. Like, so Miles. if nobody ain't never heard <laughs> that <laughs> shit, <laughs> they going go crazy. Yeah. He already know. So we like last week we done did the all death roast me, the yeah. roast me shit. So yeah. they, me and him had to go against each other. That's that nigga first joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it like, oh man, you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> He got them motherfucker cracking up. I'm like, man. I think can't even be like, bro, how many times you gonna say that shit? They ain't never heard. They ain't never heard. Yeah, you a cold motherfucker, bro. Yeah, Lee. So do you uh do you tour with your stand up? Shit, when I came. Well, when you came before what pre COVID. So yeah, 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 yeah. You was already torn, getting yeah. around. Mm-hmm. What's we'll say what's your the probably the best city, I feel like. Well, you feel like that you didn't perform then. I'm to my far as People, the the way the because I know the club matters to you niggas. Like as far as some, well, some niggas how they how they green room set up. Mm-hmm. They got all your snacks and all that shit. I know you a vegan. Get oh yeah, definitely too. vegan man. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, how, what was the best city? First, let's start with what was the best city you done performed that you stepped into and got on stage and they just fucked with you. The best city. Uh, Cause I know the A obviously fucking with you. Yeah, the A fucking. If I had to go right off top. It probably has to be a city in Florida, bro. I want to say, if I could, I'd probably say Miami. Yeah. Miami? Yeah, Miami. Ooh, they city. really, okay. don't, they were really like it was Florida City. and they, But they be fucking with me out there in Texas, too. So, yeah. but I, if I had to say say something, it would be like, um, Flo- Florida. Florida. Yeah. Just, just the, the vibe of the club, or what is it like? Or it's just the people? Just the people, bro. Like, I think, like, the type of person I am, like, people, like, like, if I'm around a person, bro, like, we just gonna vibe and hang. So, yeah, yeah. I think they people look at me like, oh, it's just like a fun ass cut. Like, they know the me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so it be like on some shit, like, man, what you doing, man? We going to the strip club after this type shit. Like, yeah. and, and just yeah. a go. Yeah. So, like, when I first started going around, like, you know, a nigga be like, hey, be careful. You don't want to go around. Like, yeah, yeah, man. I'm finna mm. go pocket these money. You know, they gonna give you some money to throw. Mm-hmm. I just put it in my pocket. Yeah. yeah. And just be in that vibe and shit. <laughs> hey, like, don't tell me you bro, you didn't put do your foot on. Do shit. Oh, no, I don't, I don't put the uh, foot on. I don't put the foot on. But if it's being I'll handed po- out. Yeah, I'll pocket the money. They hand me. Okay, yeah. Oh, thank you. Now, sometimes if it's falling, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, look. If, if they throw money on me and it fall on me, I <laughs> re throw it. I do shit like that. Yeah, I re- yeah you got it. Yeah. Re throw the shit. Like it's your yeah, own like shit. it's my shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some nigga brush the shit off. Nah, nah I'm not even going to Well, we were lit in that motherfucking one. Hell yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. What's your bro? favorite strip club in A? My favorite strip club in A. I would have to say Blaze. Blaze? Blaze. Yeah. Like You don't like the Blue Flame? Blue Flame, Blue Flame cool as hell, but yeah. there ain't no room to do shit in yeah, there. Oh, small. So yeah, yeah, yeah so it's yeah, like, bro, like, you might be in that pack. Well, if you ain't got no section, you might as well shut the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Over. Hey, hey, get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> Move. <laughs> bro. Hey, 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 then you lick it. Hey, real nigga, talk. I'm spending money just like the rest of these motherfuckers. Where I'm going to go, bro? <laughs> nigga it might, nigga, flag, like. yeah, it might be a nigga. You buying bottles ain't in the section. They treat you the same way as a nigga with a Corona ball. Yeah. You can have bro. two Hennessy bottles. They going to treat you the same that's way a nigga crazy. got a cup in his hand. That, that's messed up. 
Uh, nigga, that's not right. That's the city. That's not right. <laughs> that's the city. That's the city. That's the city. They showing right. Blade. I fuck with Blade, man. You might go in Blade, shoot pool, a bitch will shoot pool with you, yeah. and charge you for a dance. Mm. On her shot, yeah. she might goddamn take her shot, then come over there and give you a damn while you shooting pool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fool yeah. in there, right. I win. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Blue Flame got the best the food. Pool. Okay, so like the Blue Flame got the be busting, nigga. nigga. Oh, my. Flame <laughs> but if I had a flashback right do, there, but, I, but I'm thinking back about because yeah. uh, you know you don't know Nico Thorpe. Mm. He he from uh, Stone Mountain. He went to uh, Tucker. That sounds familiar. Mm. He went to Auburn with me. That's my dog. Mm-hmm. This nigga used to go with Blue. Was uh, he well, a cornerback? Yep. Yeah, I know you're talking He used to go with uh, the owner of Flame's daughter. Mm-hmm. So we used to come that bitch at, at Auburn. We used to come in that giant. Get the section in the little the little booth in there, yeah. and get throwing no money. Wait, nobody got no fucking money. We just trying to put together Pilgrim some money. money. You know, they, yeah, they, we they, trying they, to put together they, our <laughs> shit. Dude. We ain't got no yeah. nil. You know what I'm saying? We ain't had yeah. that shit then, so right. we ain't that bitch throwing. We she giving up free food in there, oh boy. Man, that food be so damn. Good. It's good food. Good. That steak. They got a steak and blue. I ain't having a blue. I, I, nigga, they got collard greens. Nigga, <laughs> they got that. Bro, I ain't even been. That's what I'm asking. They got dinner. Yeah, okay. like, bro. <laughs> they have dinner there. They have dinner there. They nigga, when, dinner. you know how when they ask you what sides, nigga, you better look at the side menu. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you could get mac and cheese, collard greens, yams. <laughs> hey, yeah. Let me see. It Let ain't me no see. Jeff Fries. Casserole. Bro. All that type of shit, <laughs> man. Them folks. Cooking spaghetti in that bitch. Hibachi, man. Them folks. Hibachi in the club. Depending on what night you Hey, that nigga, <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga got to have some cold ass shelves in that hoe. Nigga, you know he do the Kale's Kitchen. What's that? Uh, he got a restaurant, Kale's Kitchen. He with a chef in there. That's a live ass restaurant there. Uh, like it's like a good ass, good ass. Like food. some old, like some soul food, some yeah, home yeah, cooking, lasagna, spaghetti, all that type of shit. Oh, man, they got everything. Right. This joint. Nigga, here. talking about this good ass shit. How the fuck you eating that? But you a vegan? Man, what? Man, vegan is a mind state. Like I look at it like that. So it's like it's what I perceive the food to be. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 Okay. That shit plant based. That shit plant based. Turkey only eat grab, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, all right, so so like so you're a selective vegan then. Selective. No, I'm no, right. I'm vegan. <laughs> you vegan, but ground turkey is considered a vegan option. <laughs> it's a vegan. That's 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 it, right. It's plant based. It is plant based. <laughs> <laughs> Base go. <laughs> It plant based like a motherfucker. <laughs> Look at this shit with this nigga posted earlier today. <laughs> I was like, bro, first of all, I've been seeing this shit. This nigga been posting this shit about me, like food shit. It is evil. Man, one of them vegan, because I hashtag, I hashtag plant based, I might hashtag vegan. <laughs> One of them motherfuckers came, you fat motherfucker. But look at that. He's about finding me a restaurant. This is my lifestyle. Bro. <laughs> what is that? That was some, that was some vegan pork ribs. Uh, some vegan pork ribs. You right know what right there. That's what a uh, vegan chish kebab. Uh, dairy free mashed potatoes, broccoli, and that's a uh, vegan ribeye. With a the, vegan ribeye With the Heinz poured And drenched all over That motherfucker Looking sexy and That shit looks beautiful I'm, 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 I'm not I'm not oh, You gotta stay away From that broccoli though I try not to eat Too much broccoli I'm there, <laughs> That's why all that GMO shit at. <laughs> oh, shit. oh bro Oh my god bro bro I done I'm heard there. it all I done bro. heard it all now <laughs> I'm about to say he's a vegan and eating better than most people that ain't. <laughs> I know vegans, bro. I know it's a vegan. It's a hard life for like those real, real. It is, it is a hard life. Man, yeah, but we, we make a way. We yeah, make a way. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. You just you, you, you just got to find what works for you. It's man, I tried good. that shit for real. I tried the vegan like the Like for real, for real? Yeah. Never in my life. I'm all, I mean, look at me, bro. I, I don't hold anything. So if I go vegan, I damn near disappear. That shit different, though. From base. He in sports, though, like. Y'all gotta have some like some protein and all yeah, this shit. Yeah, man. you gotta have some. It's a lot of football stuff. players who are vegan though. Yeah. It's more than you think. For real? It's a. It's a. I think we had shit just well. Like they vegan like him? 
Nah, like for real, for real. Oh. Hey, what you but mean? Like, he for like, real? <laughs> yeah, that nigga that's trying me now. <laughs> I'm not for What's real, up? What's, real. So, like, you for real? Like, they they really be vegan? Dan Morgan, Jarrell Casey, Westwood, y'all. Jarrell Casey? No, I don't believe that. That nigga ain't no goddamn <laughs> vegan. <laughs> <laughs> they Quan, Jones, he didn't been on the show. Now, I, D now, tackle. I sat next to now, him. Now, he not, he, not he not a vegan no more, but Casey's okay. still vegan. Okay. Wood, like, I said like, he ain't vegan. I don't know if he's still vegan, vegan but. At one time, 2018, 2019, 2017, shit, when I got there, what, 2017, yeah. Them niggas was vegan, nigga. Yeah. All, their Morgan wife used to make the I food. I know Colin Kaepernick vegan. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Damn, I ain't no Tom Brady was vegan. That makes sense, too. That's a that's a bad by the motherfucker. Boy. That nigga, man, I think, you see when they won <laughs> Super Bowl, Tom Brady, like, bro, like, he be having his shoulder pad, he really built like a white boy. He is, bro, like yeah, a normal, like white, normal dude. white boy. A normal white dude, bro. I don't even know if I can say that on this shit, man. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, yeah. 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 no, for real, real talk, bro. Yeah. Normal as fuck. Like, no, yeah. not, not cut. No cut and yeah. none of that shit. I'm like, like, damn, bro. He just look at no, Normal you forget hell. that shit when he making moves on the field. Hell like, yeah, that man a normal dude. Bro. I sat there and Working no lie, all out. I, I I bet it with the Chiefs. So I'm sitting there watching him celebrate with his trophy, with his shirt. I'm like, this the motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> who took my fucking money off. This the, uh, this normal white dude, <laughs> normal as hell, bro. Cam Newton has worked on his body for years. <laughs> Nigga's like he's an athlete. He's a athlete. real athlete. Athlete, bro. I've seen his workouts, bro. bro. I, hey, real talk. I have not seen the Tom Brady workout. Him like you won't see. You won't see this. Hey, look, that it, nigga it, in there. It got the bar on it. That's it, that's the bar. He say he do private <laughs> workout. Man, he just be walking around just looking at the grass. <laughs> he just be picking the grass up, throwing it back down. That's crazy. Bro. But y'all lit this year though. Hey. Ooh, we. Man, I don't know who y'all. I'm free agent, man. But what? Man, you a real Falcons fan, man? I never been a Falcon. Oh no, that's why you be talking down on them niggas. Huh? I, I saw bro, it's, it's real talk. It's Matt Ryan. Like I, I hate Matt Ryan, dog. <laughs> that makes sense. He doesn't look like, like a white guy then, that I would like to hang out with. The, I, I, a, I wouldn't want to hang out with Matt Ryan. A Falcon fan, know. you can't tell them shit about Matt Ryan. Oh, they 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 want. They think like he the one. <gasps> Nigga, look at all he did. Hey man, that don't mean shit if you don't win the game. Man, what? He had a chance, bro. There's no way you Against lose Tom that Brady. damn Super Bowl. <laughs> Tom Brady beat them. Damn. But in Atlanta. Yeah. Wasn't it in Atlanta? Nah, it was nah, in Houston. It was, yeah. It was in Houston. I'm I'm a uh, I'm a cowboy fan though. Uh, for real? Yeah, I'm a cowboy fan, bro. Oh uh, how? This what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. So like shit, growing up, my dad was a cowboy that fan. That makes sense. So, same story I had with Steelers. It's the same thing. So it like, when, like the uh Falcons came to Atlanta when? They been in that, but they wouldn't show them on the TV. Yeah. In Atlanta, they wouldn't show them on the TV. Shit, nigga, the games went sold out, it'd be blacked out. Yeah. So they not gonna show you a, a empty stadium. stadium. Yeah, that's the thing about it. They came in the sixties, bro. They, that makes sense. They were sorry for a long time. Yeah. They got to that hub. So yeah, no. Then the year when Chris Chandler, sense. when they went Chris, to the Super Bowl, oh, yeah, yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, Dirty oh, Bird, yeah, 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 yeah. So that dirty, shit was hot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So like, I don't know if it's better that me being a Cowboy fan, cause shit, yeah, I don't think it nigga, is. that shit be. Oh that's, my that's, god. Be, honestly, the way that you feel about Matt Ryan, that's how I think everyone feels about the Cowboys. Period. Like y'all have not been. They'll throw up stats about the Cowboys, bro. <laughs> All year long. Uh, this is the year. Nigga, y'all ain't won shit in a very, very long time. I think that's just very optimistic fans. They 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 own them. It's always this it's, year, our year. It's always that. Like and it's it, like we we got this one piece. Right? We got this new piece. We got this piece. Look at the yards he putting up. Look at the bro, y'all still I mean, not. They selling right their team. That's how they sell their team though. Cause guess what? Niggas gonna talk about it. Right. Facts. We talking about right now. I wouldn't mind going ahead. to play for the Cowboys just because you want to know why they got a big ass market. That's true. That's Nigga, I, I want you to go guy. play for the Cowboys. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't give a hey, Bones, John Foster, that's your special team coach over there. But, hey, <laughs> get your boy right. Hit him you know, up. Man, fuck with me. Hit him up, bro. We got a whole segment. <laughs> but she, you fuck with the Hawks, though? Because y'all niggas, hey. Ooh, close, man. Yeah, man. I, I did want the Hawks to win for the city, but like, because my team was out. Who's that? Lakers. LeBron. Oh, yeah. LeBron. That's my team. LeBron is my team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LeBron is your team. That's my team. LeBron. Do you think next year he has another win? Be honest. I would hope so. Bro, this year, like, you know how sometimes, I don't know what it is when you watch a player play on another team, they look so different and unstoppable. But then when they play with LeBron, it's like, 
Bro, I never knew Anthony Davis fall so goddamn much. Yeah, he fall a lot. Bro, that it's nigga. Like he get bottled up or something. Bro, it's like, it be nowhere, and then he just slide across the ground. Yeah. Him and Embiid, they need to do stats for the Hell most the niggas most that fall. fall. <laughs> and they need Embiid to be falling. Bro. Right here, bro. Y'all niggas be seven a, feet tall. It be a guard that bump into a lead. Yeah, they gone. <laughs> <laughs> Like no, I don't fuck. Yeah, I I can't I right, can't I can't up. take I can't take I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna be real. Uh, I heard that Kuz about to get about that thing. That's what they trying to do. They trying to get rid of that. I think Dennis need to go too though. Oh man, that nigga. Asked I heard for, no. I heard the money he was asking for. <laughs> they need to drug test that motherfucker. <laughs> That's what they need to do. They need to drug test that motherfucker. Hey, I see this. I'm like, I said, ain't no fuck? way. Ain't no way. Even if you didn't, and your agent did that is on his own, you need, <laughs> you need to fire that, that motherfucker. Man, fire that dude, bro. He get up a <laughs> nigga, ain't no way. Head. I'm never against a nigga and getting his money. he was dead serious, though. <laughs> yeah, man. But, but nigga, <laughs> did you see what the fuck <laughs> you just <laughs> did? Yes, bro. It's kind of like me, bro. I, I got a normal job. It's like me, like, okay, bro. I know I've been late all week. <laughs> <laughs> right. I still but need, I'm gonna be a check though. Let I me go and get that raise, and I promise yeah. you I'm gonna do better next time. <laughs> like, bro, no, bro. Nah. That shit does not work like that, my I, nigga. I thought the nigga, uh, <laughs> I thought the Knicks were gonna make it out though, like uh, injuries. Yeah, like injury, but that nigga Kevin Durant is a yeah. dog, dog. Yeah, he a dog. Like now, that's one person. You dog. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't even know he was following me. Cause, oh, for real? Yeah, bro, word. So, yeah, so I got them. I click on some, and that shit said follow back. I said, that nigga follow me. Yeah. So I press that motherfucker yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was like, That's lit. That's but lit. like, yeah, he, he like he done commented on video, like laughed and shit. So I had started having like some little shift leader shirts. So I was like, he be fucking with the shift leader video, laugh. So I was like, yo, KD, I'm going to send you. <laughs> I think how I worded the shit though. I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna send you two free shirts. You don't owe me nothing. Just wear it." <laughs> it's real. It's straight up, nigga. Just wear that. Up. That nigga just liked it, and then say shit. Did didn't send no address. No Addy or nothing. I looked at. I said, "Yeah, I could. I need a PR person to help me." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but listen though, like real nigga man, what? Like, that's real though. Know. That's hey, real. Hey, look, the yeah. fact that I hit him with it, like you don't owe me nothing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that probably went through it, man. Like, hey, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> and and yeah. when? <laughs> I don't owe you that. <laughs> I look, bro, I just when I wrote it, I just vision. I, I he hadn't even responded yet. Yeah, I was like. And they gonna be doing their press conference. He gonna just throw the shirt on. Yeah. I can see that. I, don't oh, know. Yeah. I had that vision. Yeah. 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 He sauce it out too. He, he gonna stick with sauce it out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Beanie rolled up how like he normally do. Flannel probably around his waist. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga never yeah. sent the address, man. He never sent that. That man just double tapped it. Hey. But that man saw it though. That's what's but up. But you could just send it to the facility. That's probably what he was thinking. Like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. It's probably what he was thinking actually. Facility. Oh, next season, it's up. It's up. You feel me? There you go. That's, that thing about, That's what it is. I didn't do that before. I didn't do yeah. that before. But then, like, I didn't did it just like. Somebody uh-huh. was like, I'm going to send you some shit. I just like it. Or I'm like, they, easy. And find a way to get and to And then, either they find a way to get to him or they'll, be, they'll ask, like, what what address can I send it? What you want me to send it? I just get a facility address. Because then I'm going to be there all the time, all the way there. So yeah, then I know it'll get there. Bro. That's all. Just yeah. put Kevin Durant on it. And then he he would wear it because it'd be it'd think about it, he get shit to sent to the to the facility that shit just be a nigga lock a nigga hang that bitch up next you know you toss that whole on do a little interview now you wore a nigga shirt and it's up and it's, it's up, up and it's man. Up. stay tuned in for part two later this week with Nav Green two rule week continues easy. <laughs>